If you've ever carried your bike to your house or apartment like this, you know how difficult it can be to navigate tight spaces. So next time, do it like a pro mechanic. Turn your bike upright. This gives your bike a smaller footprint and reduces its turning radius, keeping your home free of disaster. If you need to get up a step, just nudge the seat with your knee. Zip ties are useful for all sorts of emergencies, so many of us keep them in our bags. But if you ride without a bag, zip ties can be stored in your hollow crank set. Just push them in so they fold over, and that should be enough to keep them in place. Although these can be tricky to get back out, it is better than them coming loose. Someday, you'll be happy you had zip ties on hand. These little crimps prevent your derailleur cable from fraying, so I always have a ton of them in my shop. But if you don't have access to crimps or a bike shop to buy some at, suitable replacements can be found at your local hardware store. There you'll find a huge variety of extremely ugly stand-ins, from hollow rivets to electrical connectors. These will all cost just a few cents and work more or less like the real thing. One of these might even be a great way to troll, if you're into that sort of thing. It's pretty easy to just lay your backpack on the table to load it up, and indeed backpack loading is not a problem that needs to be solved. However, I really like hanging mine on my bench vise. This helps get the pack out of the way while I lay my supplies out on the bench and the little nub on the crank makes for a perfect hook. Of course, if you don't have a bench vise, you can use an actual hook. This may even be a great place to store your pack while you aren't using it. In another video, I showed how an adjustable wrench with these markings can be used as a caliper to get rough measurements of things like seat posts, bolts, and other bike parts. But this is only good for measuring outside diameters. For inside diameters, you can attach some short pieces of zip tie to the jaws. This actually works. It's not pretty, and if you find yourself using this hack often, it's probably time to invest in some calipers, but it can get you by in a pinch. If you ever need to film yourself out on the trail, you can use a multi-tool as a phone stand. Just open the wrenches and wedge your phone between them to get the right angle. While this isn't ideal, it's better than trying to stand your phone up on a rock or something. You'd also be hard pressed to find a multi-tool that this doesn't work with. The next hack isn't so much of a hack as it is a tip. Use waterproofing spray to protect your stuff. They sell products like this at outdoor stores, which can be used on all textiles, including bags, tents, shoes, or anything else made of fabric. You just spray it on your gear and give it about an hour or so to dry fully. At that point, water will just beat up and roll off. So if you get caught in the rain or splash through a creek, the water won't have a chance to actually soak into your gear and keep you wet all day. These products are available in varieties specific to gear or clothing, so make sure you get the right stuff. While the coating doesn't last forever, you can always reapply it. If you've never been brought to your knees by a Charlie horse, you haven't pedaled hard enough. But you know what can give you temporary relief from these dreaded leg cramps? Pickle juice. I'm usually quick to write off natural remedies as junk science, but this is actually a real thing. However, it's not the electrolytes in pickle juice that stop muscle spasms, like was once thought. It's actually the strong flavor of pickles, which overwhelm the sensory neurons in your mouth, throat, and stomach. It's like a kosher defibrillator for your leg. For a more portable cure, you can actually just use mustard packets, which have the same effect and are much easier to carry around. This adapter will allow you to use a Schrader pump, like you'll find at a gas station, with a pressed of valve stem. But in a pinch, you can make one out of a valve cap. First, cut the top off the cap just above the grippy part, and then screw it onto your stem upside down. Make sure the valve is open and positioned a bit below the rim of the cap. Now a Schrader air pump should make a good enough seal to pump up your tire. This even works with those big crude gas station pumps. Of course, the cost of using one of those pumps can be more than a real Prestige Schrader adapter. 
so it might be a good idea to purchase one and keep it with you. Picks are extremely useful tools that everyone should have on hand. And if you want to get crafty, you can make one out of a bicycle spoke. First, grind the spoke to a point with a file or grinder. If you get the metal too hot, it'll become brittle and crack easily. So try to do this little by little and maybe even keep it cool with some water. I like to bend the tip to a 45 degree angle to make it more versatile. Also, put a hairpin bend in the other side to keep the pick from turning in the handle, which you can make out of a crappy piece of wood from your backyard. pretend to be one of those restoration YouTubers and get fancy, but at the end of the day, this is a pick made from a spoke. It'll only be good for light duty tasks, but sometimes that's more than good enough. At least it'll look kind of cool and you can say you made it yourself. I hope you found these 10 bike hacks entertaining, or maybe even useful. Many of these were suggested by you, the audience. So watch the playlist at the end of this video and if you can think of any hacks I haven't done yet. Put them in the comments below. If your hack gets added to my list, I'll give it a heart. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.